Hey, what's up guys? Cray here, and today we are heading into our siege battle. It already started about 20 to 25 minutes here. So, we are going for the aggressive route. We'll just take a look at Alpha House's defense. So, their Tower 11, some um, LD and Kinkies. Tower 10, this one is their middle tower. Tianlongs and Gurkhas. Alright, on Valor's side, this one is their middle 10 as well. A lot of LDs, eh? And the uh, net 4 tower is the Kakano Shilling and Trianas. We'll be able to start our first fight of the day up against this Tiomar Savannah and a Juno. So this one I think is actually very simple. Double damage dealers and a stripper without speed lead. We can definitely outspeed with our Galleon, Tiana and Poseidon. Poseidon should be able to crit the Savannah and Tiomars. And then we will be able to dismount the Savannah work from there. Time to loot, come on. Okay, we got all the armor breaks. This should kill off the Juno. Not enough though. Oh, Juno heals up a bit. Okay. Gets the counter as well. We need to kill the Juno here. Can we just go for the AoE? Just enough to kill off that unit. And... Tilmar's the prop. Alright. First win in the bag. Next, we are seeing a Momo... Valantis and a Rakan. Does this team work? I feel like we are lacking damage and heals, so maybe we run Purna instead of the Juno. I think Purna will be better, right? Accuracy leader doesn't really matter, just as long as our Josephine can survive and get the stuns off with all the counters. Because over here, their damage output isn't really the best. But I'm just praying that the Rakan don't synergize well. So Rakan actually faster than the Momo, that's very interesting. We are just gonna place the Hollyberry shield. So this does zero damage. <laughs> and we are just gonna kill off the Rakan first. However, my Perna got stunned up, so that's not too good. Mm, should we place the Hug? Might as well. Stun? Very nice. Okay, our Josephine working. Get the additional turn. Can we stun again? There we go. Provoke this guy. We got it. Oh, but we got stunned. Man. Got a little bit too greedy there. But Rakan will drop. And who is the damage dealer here now? Because Momo isn't hitting hard. So I'm fine with that. Valantis is just the stripper. It's fine. We are just gonna keep him at bay as well, with the stun. Yeah, every time we get the second skill up from our Fire Holly Berry, we are just gonna use it. Look at all those counters. <laughs> Perna heal. It's sufficient enough. Now, even though it's just like 10%. Oh my god, this Momo hitting really hard though. Holy shit, wait, wait, we need to kill the Momo here. Yeah, we place this. Can we stun? Alright. Stun? Ooh, perfect. Yeah, Josephine's stun rate is insane. <laughs> and then now we got a hug as well. So Momo drops and left this Valantis alone. There's no way. Every time he stuns us, we are just gonna get an extra turn. But we don't have the passive now. It's fine because even with the dots, yeah, dots deals 10% damage. Our Perna will heal our units back. So it's all Gucci. I'm just gonna place the shield for funds. And this will kill. This tower 10 just opened up and we are actually seeing a Veronica on defense. Very interesting. So HP leader, we should be able to outspeed with our Violent Gianna. Oh wait! We don't have any skills? <laughs> wow, the EMP shock is insane. And how fast is this Veronica? Because we have speed lead. Plus 180 on our Gianna as well. Thankfully we violent proc earlier so we can get the strip stun rolling. There we go. We need to probably kill off the Fermion here because he is the main damage dealer. But yet again, I'm afraid of this light battle angel. I'm not sure how many turns cooldown is the third skill. So we are just gonna spread our bomb damage out first. We go for the detonation here. Didn't get the stun. Okay, 
Come on. Place a bomb onto Formion. Thank you. We should be able to kill off the Veronica with our Sierra. There we go. Okay, not taking any risks. From here, 2v3. The Formion is still really scary. Resistance? Okay, thankfully we land this bomb. But yet again, Fermion is gonna hit really hard. This Luis no skill, right? Oh, actually placing the invincibility and the third skill as well. We are just gonna go for the strip. Didn't land onto this Fermion. Oh my god. Janna is dead. I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> Feels like we have to still go on to this Fermion. Now I'm in a pickle because I'm not sure how many turns cooldown this Luis has. I just want to make sure that we have our skills up. Okay, we got the bomb off. Thank god, thank god this Fermion goes down. Holy shit. Can't believe we actually came back from that. Got a little bit scary at the start. I totally did not expect the Veronica to be so fast because 24% speed lead with Gianna at 180 violent. I was expecting us to move first. We are seeing an old school defense, the Tessarion, Odin, and Riley. I love to bring in this lineup. The Bill Kata and the Water Wedjat. QB Senef, right? So we're just gonna boost up our Katarina. This won't do shit against us because we have invincibility buff, and then we just go for the Sword of Discharge. 49,000 onto this Riley. Oh, thank you. We actually got the crit onto the Tessarion. So, two unit dies, and Odin no more stack. We got five stacks on our build again. So, we can do the third skill if we need. But I think this actually kills. Yeah, 26,000. Easy. We'll be fighting this Luis, Rakan, and a Teomars with our new toy. Yeah, where's my light espresso team? <laughs> I think this team is actually decent, but I'm not sure whether we are kind of speed tuned. If the Louis cut in between, then we might be in trouble. So this doesn't look good. We are going to hold on to our strip first, but I feel like I made a mistake here, but it's fine. We should be able to sustain the damage from this Rakan. Because Theomars is stunned up. Oh, never mind. Of course, he gets the additional turn. Shit. Oh my god, we failed to strip two units. Espresso is dead. <laughs> no stun. Oh my god. How do we win from here, man? Is it possible? Do we have to strip? We have to use it. Okay, finally, we can go for the control now. So, there goes our light espresso. We failed to use him again. <laughs> Basically, you just soak up some damage and then just died after that. But yet again, maybe a little bit of a misplay at the start. I should have been more confident with my speed tuning. I was just afraid that the Luis cuts in between. It's not over yet though. We can still win this one. We got the absolute zero off. Okay, don't really need to use any skills just yet. The additional damage from my Juno is decent. So we are hitting around like 1007 to 2k. We'll take it. And then we got a strip for this later. We're just gonna use it. Okay, come on, can we push back? Glancing. But the damage output isn't good. So Juno at the end, I think, should still win. Because the Luis is gonna die soon. Ah, we got the sun. Very nice. 2v3. <laughs> It's one of those Triana, Vigor, and Liu Mace. We can't run away from this defense. And whenever I see this one, we are just gonna Lucian it. Because very safe. I'm very certain that we can kill off the Triana and the Liu Mei. Oh, this Triana very tanky though. Thankfully, no armor break. No stun. Ah, stop hitting my Tion, man. I feel like we have to heal up here. We got the heal block off. Can we stun? Oh, very nice. Okay, we can boost up our Lucian. 
And let's try to continue working on to this Triana because once Triana goes down, we win. As simple as that. Okay, do we have the boost? I feel like healing first because Lucian full attack bar. Can we stun? Oh, we got it actually. So two more turns for my Mirene to have the skill up, but I am not gonna hold our M. We're just gonna use it. Vigor down to the last hit, and this will finish up this Vigor. We'll try to rush our remaining swords because it's gonna be ending pretty soon. So this team, I think it's always very safe against this kind of lineup because we are able to use 3 units to focus onto one. However, on his side, he'll be splitting his damage because of the AI, right? So Juno will always hit my Dominic. Unless the Nana gets the armor break off later, but I guess it's fine. We are controlling this Dominic really well. And we should be able to kill him off now. Yeah, this normal attack should do it. And then we got 3 stacks on our Nana already. <laughs> Can we go for the armor break here? I guess we try to kill off the Juno. Ah, uh, imagine if we landed the branding, I think that Juno gets one shot. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Yeah, we're still hitting around like 7.8k on the last hit. Very, very good damage output coming out from Dominic as usual. So consistency is key. Yeah, it's just like a mouse on steroids, this guy. Because he does have the branding... And also able to live steal when he's below 50% health. Yeah, Dominic is still one of the best units in game right now. But in terms of Arte, I think Oliver is still the best. We're gonna try bring in our Water Pure Vanilla Cookie together with Masha this time. I think they do synergize well together because of the buffs. So everything resistance, which is looking good because we do have resistance lead working as intended. But we are taking a lot of damage here. Man, I think we got no choice but to just go for the buff. But I hope my Masha don't die though. Okay, looking good. Next turn, we can heal. Just gonna normal attack. And try to strip. Come on, Masha. Ooh, thankfully no crit. <laughs> oh my god. This ain't looking good. But Rakan will die here. He gets a last minute collapse before he drops. Can we one shot this Yara? Big damage. Next turn we can heal up with our Praha. We'll definitely use it. And finish up this Sierra. 3v1 against this Orion. Looking really good. However, this time resistance not working. But there's no way an Orion wins. Yeah, our Praha should do the trick. About 2.2k per crit, and Orion drops. We're down to our final two swords, and I really feel like playing Helena this time. I think Tassarion here, resistance lead, we should be able to resist a little bit. Okay, never mind. Thankfully, we didn't get armor broken though. Nice double stun by this Perna. What a champion. Can we land the Oblivion? Okay. We are able to wake up our Helena, and then I think... The nuke should be able to finish the Perna off. So let's just go for it. This will be huge damage. Yep, 22,000. Don't even want to transform. Waste our time. <laughs> because this will kill off the Sierra and then 3v1 from here. Alright. So, so far looking good. We got all wins so far today, I think. So hopefully we can get 10 wins in a row later. With our last sword. There's no way Orion wins from here. We got the armor break off into the kill as well. For our final sword, we'll be hitting the Sylvia, Orion, and Bella. We'll bring in Jean as our light tank. And might as well fit in our fire vanilla cookie. For heals. <laughs> I'm not sure how well this works. But they do not have any heals on their side. So I hope our damage is sufficient. Holy shit, wait. The destroy? Wait, stop! Wow! Jean down to the last hit. Are you fucking me? Oh, <laughs> uh, we have to heal. What a Papega heal from this trash unit, man. I feel like they really need to buff the pure vanilla cookie, the fire one. Ah, so useless. 
But thankfully, our Jin can heal up quite a bit with a passive. <laughs> 30% more or something. Down to the last hit again. And we don't have any skills. Shit, that doesn't cut it. Okay, we are just gonna place the invincibility again. Oh, we didn't crit this, Bella. Come on, man. Okay, that didn't do anything. We'll take it. Come on, Bella. Finally die. There we go. But the destroy, man. Wow, I didn't expect the Bella to hit so hard. I'm not even kidding. One shot, the destroy on my gene was like around 30-40% already. Okay, we're just gonna try to keep this Orion at bay. Don't really want him to use any skills. Come on. Yeah, we just press auto, fully focus onto the Orion. He's gonna drop to the dot. So it's all good from here. But at the start, so scary, man. Luckily, my Jean very tanky. She has like plus 1002 defense or something like that. And around 32k plus HP. So very beefy, but... If we lose that unit, then I think we could have lost the game because we don't have any more light tank. And I'm not sure whether Leo and this healer can do the job after that. So, a little bit lucky that we got to the last hit but able to sustain our gene. 10 wins in a row. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 262 crystals followed by 296 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layer at the end of that fight. So let's head over to the battle record. We got first place followed by Alpha House at second and Valor at third. Okay, can we get some shiny box today? Please come to us. It's been so long. Ah, <sighs> Oh! Legend will though. Oi, we can keep this as well. Keepable too. Ah, man. But accuracy speeds up stats. We can probably try to roll this one. Imagine if 28 speed. Yeah. We'll just try to keep it. <laughs> so that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.